Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is August 15th, and this is your aftermarket update. All right, so we had a really long trading day in here today. It was a good day. Uh, yesterday was also a good day. I didn't have a chance to put a video out, but uh, we are getting to one here today. It didn't start out very good. Um, and you'll notice if you uh, saw the email of the statistics that came out uh, in accompanying this video today that it was a little bit of a bouncy day today. Um, but that's okay. One of the things that we talk about in here all the time is proper risk reward, right? Cut your losers short, let your winners run. And today was a super good example of that idea today. What I'm going to do is show you the last half of the two trades that we, one of the two winning trades that we were in, uh, ended up with a three point ES winner and a, uh, I don't know, 35, 40 tick CL winner. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to go back and take a look. But anyway, the point is that we, they were two really nice trades. We were in recording the session for so long today, though, that uh, the hard drive filled up. And I had to cut the uh, entry on this trade short. But again, if you look at the stats today, you'll see that our average hold time for winning trades today uh, was in excess of three hours. So it was really uh, a choppy market. And so let's take a look here. We'll start by looking at this uh CL trade. So if you look here and just measure, uh, let's go here. If you take a look here, this was the high after the open. And if you just draw to the low, so that was the high from the open to the low there. That is 36 ticks. We basically stayed with the exception of this uh, breakout and up here, 36 tick range from basically eight o'clock to 10, 12. We came back down. And then the market began to rally back up again. One of the things that we did, though, is we got in uh, around 26 today on the long. I'm going to bring this down in front of you here. So we had our daily structure signal down here at this 16 area. We just spent a lot of time rotational around there. One of the reasons that we were in long from 26 uh, is if you look back here on your 15-minute chart, uh, this, these green lines represent previous session points of control. And uh, this also is a point of control here at 26. So we had that bounce off of our daily structure uh, signal level at 26. And uh, sorry, at 16, daily structure signal level at 16. And then, of course, we spent some time over the top of 26. And we got into that trade and held on all the way through. Now, here's the thing that's kind of a, a bummer. If you were with us here today, you know that we were holding on for a target up at the high of 77, right? 77 was the previous high. Uh, right up here is represented by this blue line and uh, you'll see me get taken out at 57 i think so i went from 27 to 57 30 ticks on that one trade and you saw me get taken out at 57 a few couple about an hour hour and a half later uh, on the api number we did go all the way up into uh, what would have taken out our targeted high up there at 77 and uh, we had also talked about actually being up around 98 as a potential target we didn't do either one of those the trail stopped me out right at the close of the New York session, and I'll let you watch the end of that uh, right there at 57. The CL kind of, or the ES did the same thing with me here today. Uh, we got in on the long at the ES here, right at uh, 2460, 75 was the revision signal. We get in long at 61. We were holding on for a six point target uh, just ahead of the revision signal up here today. And again, it was another trade that we held on to and held on to and held on to. Uh, we ended up getting three points out of that. Uh, but as that market ended up closing today, we came all the way up uh, right into the close to 67 half. So if you were with us in there today, you knew we were holding on from 61, looking for a target for six points on the ES at 67. And of course, eventually it gets there. So again, it was one of those kinds of days where we had the right idea on targets. We took a few stops trying to get there. Uh, and while we did end the day up in the positive, uh, it wasn't... Um, it could have been worse, right? Because we did start the day uh, taking some losing trades. So I'm just going to let you watch. I just want to kind of let you see how these things ended up playing out. Uh, make sure you pay attention, really close attention to the numbers uh, that are in this uh, email here today that, you, that you'll that you receive, or you can visit the, the posts on the website. Uh, it's really the key to long-term success. We had a couple losing trades. We didn't win a lot, but when we did win, we took out big targets and that put us over the hump uh, on the day. So Again, I would like normally like to let you watch the entirety of the trade. I'm just going to kind of let you watch the final uh, five minutes of these two trades here today uh, so you can kind of get a feel of where it was that we ended up getting out. So without further ado, here are those OTG trades of the day. You get that little push. Got 
go for the 90. Man, I'm thinking about it. Because we're right here into this close. But I'm going to keep it right here. We're just going to go 50 ticks on the target. Come on, 65, 66. Come on, don't stall out here. One more. You got one bar left in you here. Let's go. Get on up through it here. Give me the energy. We're about to get through 65 on the ES. About to get up to that 65. I don't know if we're going to get through it or not. We're about to get up to it, though. Or at least we were. Yeah, bring that, you know what? Bring that target up to 97. And like I said, if we get, just because you might get a little bit of hustle into the close, three minutes here. 97, move that target back to 97. Bring this trail stop to 52. Last touch of either one of these. 52 on the trail stop. Either way, I'm going to end the day ahead. After a tough, choppy start. 55, 54. Uh... Okay, here you go. 55, 54, there's 53. Okay, out at 52. Bring this trail stop here on the ES to one tick below settlement. I got pretty close. I'm glad we didn't move it any further down. Huh. Well, not what I expected into the close. I expected us to rally up through it. I wouldn't have been able to stand that kind of heat. It, it still may do it. Look at that. Th watch this thing get there. That is a fake out, shake out. Watch the fake out shake out right there and then it goes. Even despite all of my efforts to stay in that, it's still going to shake me out. That's sort of funny. Uh, 40, 64, 63, 75 on the trail stop on the ES. Now we'll go at even three points on the ES here. Three points on the ES. Let's see if we can get up to 65 here. So after all of this, I'm going to end up in the neighborhood of 20 ticks, 22 ticks positive. After that, you know what? After today, I will take it. I will take it. Watch, it's going to get there. There's 65. Is this thing actually going to break up through 65 here? Is this thing actually going to break 65 on the ES? We've got to. If we're ever going to do it, it's got to be now. There it is. It broke. Now let's see if it can go here. Is it going to push through? Let's bring this uh, trail stop up to 64 quarter. 67 is the target. Six points ES target. 58, 59, you're through the close here. Watch this thing. We watch this CL here. You watch what this CL does. You watch if it doesn't go up to where our target was. I told you at the end of the day, you're going to look back and go, well, golly, look at that. It got there. All right. I still think it's going to hit there. Maybe not, but I'm feeling more and more confident that it's going to actually get there.
All right, we'll see you, Bob. Yeah, yes, that would be. That would be Ray. Okay, so I'm going to pull this ES off right here, and I'm out. And I'm all right. So you can see where both of those targets were in relationship to where the market ended up today. Uh, we got close. Uh, had we had a little bit more time in the trading session today, we would have been able to hit both targets and it would have been a super cool day. In fact, but as it was, it was just a good day, uh, given the, uh, some of the losing that had gone on prior to that. So again, just, uh, the reason I want to show you this today is it accompanies with the email, a real, uh, key important element to what we do, which is to cut those losers short and let those winners run. So I encourage you to get over to the website. Uh, click the link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Otherwise, you've got an email uh, that has directed you to the page uh, where you can review um, the commentary and the stats for today's trading. So, as always, I want to say thank you for watching the videos here at the Oil Trading Group. And until next time, I want to wish you good luck and good trading.